the esoteric Himalayan civilization of Tibet traveled to the concrete jungle of New York to share the spiritual meaning behind its ancient culture. Tibetan monks begin work on the sacred sand mandala Kala Chakra, or Wheel of Time. Tibetans regard it as the finest example of art expressing Tibetan Buddhism. The supporters invited the exiled Nobel laureate, the Dalai Lama, to the United States as part of the celebrations honoring the year of Tibet. He spoke about atrocities he said had been committed against his people since China's invasion in 1950. Chinese dissident Huang Liji joined him. And a lot of torture is a lot of repressions. For the first time, the holy leader and hinted therefore, he may soon return to mm, his homeland listen, after now, 30 years see, of exile. I'm considering, you see, to take a, a visit to Tibet, to see uh, on the spot and to discuss with the Tibetan, and perhaps at the same time, if some is the Chinese uh, leader, some important Hersi Chinese official, if they want to come or want to see on the spot, most are welcome. Lhasa, Tibet's capital, is revered as the pure land. After nine years of Chinese occupation, the Dalai Lama fled the Patala Palace to India to escape arrest. Observers say the occupiers have since killed more than a million Tibetans and have destroyed thousands of Buddhist temples. Organizers of the New York Festival wanted to bring attention to the nation's political plight, as well as to the Dalai Lama's peaceful attempts to restore autonomy. Spirituality has been an intrinsic part of Tibetan politics ever since the Indian Buddhist Padmasambhava brought the religion to Tibet sometime in the 8th century. During the festival, thousands gathered in Central Park to meditate. The monks continue work on the Kala Chakra. According to Buddhist tradition, it is a mystic mansion created with painstaking detail. The monks hope to finish the mandala during the Tibetan art exhibition. Sand, blessed with a healing energy, is used to stress the transience of physical life. More than 100,000 Tibetans followed the exiled Dalai Lama to India. Monks needed money to run their monasteries, and doll-making proved to be one way of earning it. Anyone with good tailoring and sculpting skills could make the Lusal dolls. Costumed Lusal dolls are one way of preserving the rich history of Tibetan ceremonial dress. Doll makers speak to Tibetan elders about the old way of life, then carve and sew to description. Fine silks and hand-painted fabrics are used to make the doll's clothing and boots. The team of monks use clay, paper and human hair for the bodies, usually taking six weeks to make twelve dolls. They depict merchants at market, masked dancers and Tibetan aristocrats on a picnic. Monks give each doll detailed attention, hoping to record a civilization almost lost in the turmoil of 20th century politics. Another important part of Tibetan Buddhist tradition is monastic ritual dance. of the tantric ritual has a meaning and is an offering to the Buddhas. Tradition teaches that movements in the upper body work towards attaining peace, while the lower body performs more aggressively, destroying any obstacles to one's chosen religion. Tibetan sacred dance began with the Bon tradition, a religion centered around animals. Dancers wearing the mask of the dog represent the protector of believers, he can overpower demons. The tiger deity represents another protector. He symbolizes heroism and ferocity. And the deer is the deity of death. He raises the earth from where humans come and to where they return. The dance of the heroes. The dancers beat drums and move aggressively. The ritual fighting skills overcome the harmful influences. Tibetan dance is interpreted as one way of acquiring the wisdom and merit needed for enlightenment. At 
the exhibit, the monks have almost completed the Kala Chakra. The 722 deities of the divine community have been painted, as well as hundreds of lotus flower petals and animals, including the peacock. Film star, Buddhist and staunch Tibetan supporter Richard Gere accompanied the Dalai Lama to the opening of the art exhibition. Nowhere is the Tibetan eye for detail more apparent than in its painted scrolls and sculptures. To a Tibetan, art is used to merge the earthly and spiritual worlds and open a window onto a perfected universe. Padmapani Bodhisattva is all that remains of a larger 13th century icon. A bodhisattva strives for the spiritual liberation of all beings. The exhibit spans over a thousand years and includes pieces kept in museums all over the world. 49 bronze sculptures form a mandala of Buddhas and deities. The bronzes are usually kept in the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, Russia and the fierce Mahakala Panjaranata. He wields a sword to protect Buddhists from spiritual enemies. Some powerful deities show the union between wisdom and compassion. After weeks of steady sand painting, the monks have completed the complex Kala Chakra. Tradition orders the monks to chant and meditate to their completed paradise. According to Buddhism, the practiced disciple with the concentration power can see himself within the mandala's perfected environment. He will be secure from spiritual disturbances. And for the uninitiated, studying the Kala Chakra marks the beginning of the journey towards enlightenment.